Hey guys, welcome back to another Fish It First Friday's quick tip. Today is for you bass and pike anglers. And as you can probably see here, it's specifically for those of you that are throwing buzz baits and spinner baits. Now, some of you may know this already that it's important whenever you're throwing a buzz bait or a spinner bait to throw a trailer hook on there. The reason for the trailer hook is so that if you get a strike behind the main hook, you're still getting hooked up with your fish. But what you may not know is the proper way or the best way to hook up that trailer hook. I'm going to show you how I do it. I think it's the best way out there. We're going to go over that right now. Okay guys, typically trailer hooks are sold in packs that are labeled as trailer hooks, but if you don't know, it's essentially just a straight shank hook. But here's the catch, it's got a large eyelet there. And the reason for that is because that hook has to fit over, that eyelet I mean, has to fit over that hook and over the barb. It has to get over both in order to get on there, okay? now. When you get these trailer hooks, they're typically also going to come with some jig skirt bands. And the way that they want you to rig these is to take that jig skirt band, drive it over the top of the eyelet, like that, okay? Then they want you to take your spinner bait or your buzz bait or whatever, and they want you to drive that hook through that jig skirt band, through the eyelet, and then rig it down onto the hook where you want it. The problem with that is that that band, that jig skirt band, is going to grip so tightly onto that actual hook that it's not gonna give this hook a lot of movement. It's gonna be pretty rigid on there. And if we think about the way that a bass eats a lure, right? They come up to it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this one for an example because it's got a trailer hook on it already. They, they come up to this thing, it's buzzing across the water, they come up and they suck air, right? Or they suck water rather, they pull that water in and it swings or pulls that lure up toward their mouth and they grab onto it. Well, if you fish long enough, you've probably had short strikes or strikes where you feel something, but it's nipping at the back of it and you don't get hooked up because they grab onto it too far back onto the uh, onto the main hook. Well, that's why we put these trailer hooks on. But if it's rigid, this entire thing has to swing up into that bass's mouth. But if you have a trailer hook that can freely rotate, that is a much lighter piece of metal that has to swing up into that mouth. So that bass comes up, starts sucking water because it wants to eat the lure, that hook is gonna swing very easily with that water up into that bass's mouth. So even if it short strikes on your main hook, you're still swinging that thing up in there and grabbing it. If it were rigid, the entire thing would have to swing. It's a lot more mass that has to move with that water if it's rigid than if this hook is allowed to swing. So that's what we're shooting for. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Don't, don't do it like they show you like this. Take that off. And what you're gonna do is the first thing you're gonna do is take your hook, take your trailer hook, and put it on your main hook and make sure it's on there the right way, obviously, okay? Like that. Next thing you're gonna do, don't, don't put this on with the, like don't take the hole here and just run that over the, over the hook like that. Don't do that. You're actually gonna pierce through the side of this, of this uh, jig skirt band. So you gotta be careful because it's pretty small and you don't wanna obviously light up your fingers here with that hook. So you're gonna pierce that just like that and then you're just gonna keep pushing, 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 pushing until you get past that barb. Now once you're past that barb, all you have to do is slide that thing down and it's gonna be pretty difficult to slide, but that's good, that's what you want. Slide that thing down until it's at the bottom of the curve of your hook and then just take a look at how that trailer hook rides. That thing's riding pretty good there. Now, when that bass comes, open its, opens its mouth, starts pulling water, sucking water, take a look at what you got for it. Look at that, easily can swing up in there. This tip guys, if you if you start hooking them up this way instead of the way that it tells you to on the package uh, inserts on these trailer hooks, you are going to be catching more bass or more pike you're going to be getting more fish. Well, that's it for today's tip, guys. Say, if you like this tip, please go down, hit the little like button. And while you're down there, if you're not subscribed already, subscribe and hit the little bell notification next to it. That bell notification makes sure that you get notified every time we come out with a new video. We try to get videos out every Wednesday and every Friday. Every Friday, we've got quick tips like this to make your fishing better. Now, 
if you want to help out the channel even further, the YouTube algorithm works in such a way that if you leave a comment, it really helps to make sure that these videos get seen by other people. So if you're so inclined to leave a comment, that'd be awesome. That would help us out a bunch. Now, rig these up this way, get out there and start swinging hooks up into Bass's mouths, start getting some better hookups, start getting more hookups. And until next time, guys, tight lines.